Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nick from the Zines Academy and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a tutorial on using HDRI Lightrooms in Cinema 4D R16. A uh, couple things different about today's tutorial. My computer is not working right now, so I'm using Hayden's setup. So that's why I am wearing Hayden's headphones. I'm using the Yeti, so the audio quality will be better. And we've got a webcam on Hayden's computer that we're going to be using from now on to make our tutorials. Also, Hayden is sitting to the right of me, so if you see me looking over, that's what I'm looking at. Um, using the webcam for the tutorial might be a little weird at first, but we're going to try and get used to it as quick as we can. But uh, today's tutorial is pretty easy. Um, I've got a little rendered out scene here with an HDRI Lightroom. So you can see, especially on this chrome uh, sphere right here in the front, these sort of, you can see a cityscape in the background. And that's because we're using an HDRI texture on our sky um, object in Cinema 4D so that we can kind of have a more realistic background in um, our scene. So I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. It's very simple. So uh, I'll delete all this. Don't worry about um, the lighting or any of that. I will include this Cinema 4D file in the description so you guys don't need to make your lighting for this scene if you just wanna test out the Lightrooms. Um, the first thing we're gonna go up here is go up to our objects and make a plane. And I'll just leave it this size because it doesn't matter too much. Now I'm going to make a sky object. So we'll go over here and make a sky. And one thing we need to do to the sky first is right click Cinema 4D tags and turn it to compositing. And then we're going to go down here and click to scene by camera. So that way once we render it out you won't be able to see it in the background. So you just get the nice reflections of kind of the city. So I've already got some materials down here right now but I'm going to make a new one to show you guys. So we'll just click create new material. Double click on it. And the only thing we're going to be using to make this Lightroom on the sky material is the luminance. So we're going to check that and it'll be selected. And now here's where we're gonna add the actual HDRI picture, which I will include a pack of down in the description, but you guys could find your own, you could buy some, you could probably buy more free ones, or find more free ones, but I will include a pack of about 10 or so in the description. So we're gonna click the dots to pull up our search window and got our pack right here. Um, they're labeled as Photoshop files so you can't see the thumbnails in here so I'm gonna pick this last one because I'm pretty sure that it's a city yes we want to make a project path and you can see that it'll pull up kind of a city in our texture thing and that's all we want to do for the texture and we're gonna go ahead and drag that over to our sky right now so if we add an object I'm gonna use a sphere and we'll scale it down a little bit and move it up here if we throw, we've just got a nice chrome material that we made earlier, if I throw that onto our sphere right now and we click render, once it renders you're going to be able to see the actual city in the background because it's going to use the HDRI picture to render that into the reflections. So it's going to give you some really nice looking renders especially if you're using outdoors and you don't want to model like an entire city back behind it to reflect off of, you can just use an HDRI Lightroom or maybe if you're doing something inside and you want some nice lights reflecting off the top, there's some HDRI pictures that will give you kind of like a studio lighting effect. So you can start to see it now. Uh, these two kind of light thingies right here are reflections from our light, so that's not part of the light room, but you can see the city in the background, and since it's a sphere, it's kind of curving up, and that will give you your reflections of whatever your HDRI picture is. It's very easy to set these up. Um, that's all you need to do for the render uh, to get it to show up. You could you know, model whatever you would like now, but that is all I'm going to be showing you guys for today. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to leave a like down below and comment what you'd like to see on other tutorials. Also, if you guys like the webcam, uh, comment down below on that. It's been Nick from the Zines Academy. Peace.